Volvo's first ever ground up electric car has been nominated for European Car of the Year. But is it really European? The Volvo EX30 is built on the SEA platform, which was designed by Geely in China. Shandong Geely Sunwoda power battery in China, the joint venture between Geely and Sunwoda manufactures its nickel, manganese, and cobalt battery pack. Vindi e-mobility technology supplies electric motors for the EX30 in China, and the manufacturing process of this model takes place at Geely's manufacturing EV plant in Haoqing, according to an MIT Chinese announcement. This is the same factory that manufactures the Smart Number no. 1. Volvo, owned by Geely, plans to produce the EX30 at a plant in Belgium in 2025. But at the moment, the EX30 is only made in China. And the Belgian version will, of course, be predominantly using parts made in China. A lot of people ask the question, they wonder, is Volvo a Chinese car company now, or is it still Swedish? It's very complicated, but I believe there is essentially an answer. And it depends what type of car you're actually talking about. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. There are a lot of people who contend Volvo is a Swedish company. Doesn't matter if its parent company is Geely, who are obviously a Chinese multinational, because ultimately Volvo's head of operations is still in Sweden. Well, that is technically true. However, a large percentage of Volvo's cars are not made in Sweden, in fact, most of them aren't. Recently, Volvo have revealed that their new electric car, the Volvo EX30, which has a lot of people who are already wanting to place orders, it's considered to be essentially uh, the EV of the future for Volvo. And realistically, I even know people that have placed orders here in Australia. There's a lot of interest in the Volvo EX30. It's a very good car. It's competitively priced, depending on who you ask. Some people say it's a bit overpriced. Other people say it's excellent. But either way, the Volvo EX30 is made in China. However, Volvo does still manufacture cars in Europe. In fact, in Belgium, they make some electric cars, a small number. They make EVs, or they plan on making EVs in the United States. They actually make some EVs there now. But the majority, the vast majority of electric cars they make, including all Volvo EX30s made worldwide, are made in China. Now, Volvo actually have a new electric car called the EX90. This is a planned electric version of the XC90, a full-size seven-seat electric SUV. Many people are saying, well, that will be made in Volvo's factory in China, in Chengdu, that's true, but it won't just be made in China. And one of the key reasons for that is, well, the chicken tax. The chicken tax is the tax that Trump basically created in order to try to slow down EV makers in China or car makers in China and you know prevent massive numbers of Chinese vehicles being sold in the US. So Volvo decided because of EV incentives as well that benefit manufacturing EVs in the United States that they would manufacture the EX90 in the US. It will be made in Volvo's South Carolina factory in the US in 2024. And production apparently, or pre-production has already begun in China at the moment. So that means that yes, Volvo are making EVs predominantly in China, but they are also manufacturing them in the United States and to a lesser degree, a much lesser degree, in their factory in Belgium. Now, realistically, people say, well, hey, hang on a minute, what about all the gasoline-powered cars, or the basically plug-in hybrid type cars that Volvo make in Europe? And they do make some, that's true. But Volvo say, by 2030, they will be electric only. 
But that's not really the full picture because in Australia and Europe, they will be electric only in 2026, in only two years time from now. Meaning that by 2026, a very large percentage of their cars, in theory, would be made in China only. But actually, that's not quite true because with the US EV factory ramping up and with Volvo planning an EV factory in Slovakia, Volvo are trying to diversify the company and not be essentially a Chinese only company. So whilst it's true that most of their EVs today, the vast majority of them are built in China, the company are trying to kind of change the way they do things and not be reliant completely upon one country, which I think is a really smart decision. It's a decision that BYD clearly sees some value in. It's why BYD has initiated similar things lately, trying to manufacture EVs or vehicles in other countries like Thailand, Brazil, and even in Europe as well. Now, Volvo doesn't just make electric cars in China. It does also make plug-in hybrids like the C40 and and a range of other cars that it makes at its factory in Chengdu. But what is clearly the most important car for Volvo and its first ground up built EV, the EX30, um, will predominantly be made in China. And that's where basically Volvo will have to manufacture the majority of, EV, of its EVs. Why? Because price. The other thing worth considering here is that um, the EVs that Volvo will manufacture in Europe, yes, they will be technically made in Europe but the vast majority of the parts will come from their factory in China. Same thing goes for the US built EX90. Whilst the battery packs will have to be sourced in the US to take advantage of US battery incentives, the rest of the car predominantly will be manufactured in China and then shipped and assembled in the United States. That's pretty much Volvo's strategy. So on the one hand, to some degree, it's true the parent company is Chinese, and much of the vehicle, many of the vehicles and parts are sourced and made in China, but some of them are not. So whether or not you want to call this a Chinese company or a Swedish one, well, it's up to you. That said, the cars are still technically designed in Sweden. They do have a lot of um, staff in Sweden who work on vehicles. They manufacture uh, internal combustion versions of the uh, of the existing Volvo vehicles that are still using engines, but those vehicles will disappear within the next few years. And that all leads me to my point here. Sweden is very concerned about China. There's been ongoing conflict in Sweden. Uh, obviously, Sweden is taking action against Tesla uh, to some degree. Um, the Swedish the Swedes believe that uh, Tesla vehicles, Model 3 is made in China. They're not really particularly happy about that. So this conflict between Sweden and China, which has been very, very evident over the past 12 months, been a lot of media articles about it, will very likely continue. Probably, Geely will try to downsize some of Sweden's operations, some of Volvo's Swedish operations. Either way, Volvo makes some great cars. And I personally, I'm not too concerned about whether or not you call them Chinese or, or Swedish. I'd probably call them more Chinese than Swedish, though, at this point in time. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.